So here, the next thing I wanted to show you is the link checker. So here, if I go to link checker, I've got some, some bad links that are already included in the starter just to um, let everyone um, be able to, to kind of see an example of it. But let me create a new uh, piece of content with a bad link. So let me actually add a new piece of content, or actually I could just step into that one. And the link checker only checks WYSIWYG, WYSIWYG fields on structures. They check all WYSIWYG fields on structures, but um, that is all we're checking. So I'm going to put in a bad link here. And I'm going to use my WYSIWYG to go ahead and add a hyperlink. And put HTTP and just bad link. insert that and I'm going to save and publish them okay so now I come back to my link checker and I want to run the link check now on generic content that is the structure that I used to create that bad link just now mm -hmm. and I run my link check it shows this is running the background. It may take a few minutes to go ahead and see that link checker running. If you look on your log you can see that the uh, link checker is running, checking all bad links on WYSIWYG fields. And while he's running, I'm just going to show you how you can actually set up. Uh, all I did was go to the role uh, CMS admin, and I added another tab over here. So just quickly showing you how to do that while the link checker is running. This is how you would set it up. So if I wanted to set up for a specific uh, role in the system. I could click on CMS tabs, create a custom tab. I've already done this over here. And uh, here in the tools, there is the job scheduler right here. So you add that and you name your, you know, your tab, whatever you want it to be. And uh, you click save, you choose that as one of the tabs for your role. And uh, you've got the job scheduler. I already did it for my admin role here. And uh, I've already got a job that I created, but if we click uh, New and we take a look at it, this is how you can set up the link checker to run nightly on all structures. And uh, so I'd set up whatever job name, you know, link checker, and uh, give a little job description of what it's doing. And then there is the link checker uh, job down here at the bottom. So I can click that, set up a cron expression to run it nightly. And what it'll do is whoever is the creator of the content, whoever's holding the content, it will uh, check their links and send them emails and tell them if they've got bad links. And uh, so you set up your cron expression, you run it nightly, a, you know, a downtime, obviously. It's checking all of the WYSIWYGs and all of your content. So um, you can set that up as an automatic job. And I'll show you in a second how you can run it from workflow and automatically kick it back to someone who's creating those bad links. So if I refresh right now, I actually um, oh saw one on the mobile side as well. Um, but here's today's rel uh, relevant content, which expires 831. And here there's the bad link right there that I just created on that content. I can click on that piece of content right from the link checker and go straight into that piece of content to make the correction on the bad link. Okay, So that's running it right here from the link checker uh, portlet. But you can actually set up a workflow and have it so that whenever you're passing between steps or you're executing an action on a workflow step, you can have it, instead of being something that's kind of managed after the fact, actually have it enforced in your workflow. So here if I come to workflow schemes, I have set up an example of that and I've just set up a really, really quick, brief workflow scheme example. It's just called Check Links, the workflow scheme. I've set up one workflow step called editing, and I've added one workflow action. And if we look at the editing workflow action, I have assigned it to a role contributor. So I'm going to log in in a second as Joe Contributor, who has that role. And um, uh, I've set it up as you know draft. So whenever you take that action, it's going to do these sub actions as well. It's going to notify the assignee and it's going to do a link checker check. The way to add that sub action is just click here on sub action for this particular step in your workflow and you just click link checker. And that will add that and I add that 
uh, workflow sub action that adds it down here and it'll automatically happen whenever someone clicks on you know save draft so I'm going to cancel the change and then once you set up your own custom workflow then the only other thing just kind of like setting up the uh, fields for the scheduled publishing you have to configure that workflow to a structure so I made a sample structure here called link check and just to look at the properties here the workflow scheme I've set it to check links here so that is what's controlling the content contrib contribution on the link check structure okay so I'm just gonna cancel out of that now I'm gonna log in as my limited user who would be using my structure and going through that workflow so I'm gonna log in as this guy named Joe contributor who obviously has the contributor role content so if he tries to contribute new content that has a bad link it's gonna catch him right here before he actually you know goes further or pass it on to somebody else and it becomes their problem this is content with a bad link and, and I'll create once again some length it really doesn't go anywhere and insert it and then I will try to that the, the workflow action where I have this configured is whenever he tries to save his draft and then it automatically tells him hey this link that you're trying to save in this WYSIWYG is broken so um, you know I'm not gonna accept it fix your links and then go ahead and you know save your content so um, that is the way that you can actually have it set up for your content contributors so that they actually can't create bad external links through that kind of a custom uh, workflow action